Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 28th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. Our focus is on the move class and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sort of <clears throat> wrap up progress on the move class in this video and in the next video I'm going to focus on uh, the GUI which I think a lot of people have been waiting on. Um, and there's one other thing I want to do. I want to, I've gotten feedback that it's hard to view the code um, in the videos and I definitely appreciate every bit of feedback that you guys can give me. I'm, I'm very new to this um, so uh, any sort of constructive criticism is welcome. So here I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go into preferences and I'm going to go to font and I'm going to Let's see, how do you do this? I need to create a new one, don't I? I need to, oh, I need to hit Save As, and I'm gonna say Amir's Settings, and here I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna say, let's try a font size of 14. So hopefully this is more readable for you guys. If it's not, please let me know. Um, it's really important for me that you guys don't have to strain in order to read this code. Of course, you can also look at the code in uh, on my GitHub account uh, that I've linked in, in prior videos, but I do want you to be able to follow along uh, in these videos as well. So um, we've done a lot in the move class uh, and in the player class, right? Recently what we did was we <clears throat> calculated, I, uh, I showed you guys how to calculate the king castles as an add-on for each player, um, but I didn't really, I didn't plug this in anywhere, this calculate king castles method, um, but what we're going to do here is we're actually going to, inside of the constructor for player, where we, um, calcu where we set the legal moves for the player, what we're also going to do is we're going to concatenate uh, to the end of that collection the uh, castle moves that are generated. So what we're going to we're going to use guava. We're going to say immutable list dot copy of, and uh, this is a pattern that I've been using in the other places where I used concatenate. We're going to say iterables dot uh, concat, which concatenates two collections, and we're going to concatenate the legal moves to the calculate castle king castles. And we're going to pass in the player legals, or the, I should say, the legal moves and the opponent's legals. So just to um, provide a bit of a refresher here, um, remember that in order to properly calculate the castle moves for a player, you need to know what your enemy's moves are, right? Because <clears throat> if there are any attacks in between the squares, um, that you're castling, then you can't castle, right? So in order to know, and that's the sort of require, that's a special requirement for castle moves that other moves do not have. So that's why we passed in the opponent, the, not only my own legal moves, but my opponent's legal moves, and we passed that all the way down into this castle king, uh, castle king castles, excuse me, calculate king castles method um, that polymorphically executes for the white player and the black player um, and you know if you're white it's sort of using the tiles on the bottom of the board uh, the higher number tile IDs and if you're black the lower number tile IDs uh, in those special tile locations okay so um, that's what I wanted to cover here um, there is still some let's see if there's any other cleanup that we can uh, t take care of here so Let's quickly go down here into the black player and let's mark these final. I didn't do that. There's probably a lot of cleanup that I can, that has accumulated in my code that we haven't uh, applied. Let's get rid of this white space here. Um, of course, I still have only added nulls here, so that's not right. We'll fix that in a second. Let's go to the white player, mark these final. Right. Get 
rid of that white space. Okay, and um, right. So let's see that for the white player, what we want to say is up here we want to say new kingside castle move and we're going to pass in the board the player king the number 62 rook of the rook tile dot get piece and rook tile dot get tile coordinate um, did I not expose on the tile the tile coordinate okay get tile coordinate and 59 so hold on here let's Import the class for there, and on the tile method, it would appear as though I need to go all the way up here and write a method called public int get tile coordinate return this dot tile coordinate okay so let's remove this to do and and hopefully by now the arguments to this method make sense um, let's just sort of quickly this up a little bit right so for the king side castle um, these are the in-between tiles right uh, so if we were to open this let's see chess uh, castling So tile number 63, tile number 62 corresponds to this square. And tile number, let me see. Oops. Right, so th these correspond to the destination coordinate of the king and the destination coordinate of the rook. Um, when the king castles on the king on the king side, so you'd come here and this guy goes over there, 63, 62, 61. That did I get that wrong? Maybe I got that wrong. I might got I might have gotten that backwards. So for the white player, yeah, I, I got that. I didn't get that right. So for the white player. It's 62 and 61. Sorry about that. Appreciate you guys' patience there. And let's do the static import to reduce this. And here it's going to be new queen side castle move. This dot board. This dot player king. 58 rook of rook tile dot get tile coordinate. Oh, excuse me, get tile get piece. Um, rook tile dot get tile coordinate and 59. So you can look through this to make sure that these are the right squares, and of course, obviously, later we will. Um, we will prove this correct via unit tests, but I just want to sort of get you guys to 
see that see how this is going to play out. All right. So that should be correct now. Okay. <clears throat> so I think for the most part, um, this is looking better. So let's do a quick glance. Let's go through our code real quick on the board. That looks cleanish. And we could probably do some cleanup for the um, two string method on some of these. We'll come back to that. So that's all I'm going to cover right now. I just wanted to sort of take the time to increase the font size here, wrap up the castle moves. Um, and I think I did that here. Oh, you know what? I didn't do that for the black player, did not did I? So let's take the time to do that really quickly for the black player too. Um, and then we'll wrap up the video. So here we'll get rid of this to do comment here and we'll say new king side castle move this dot board this dot player king six. I encourage you to go back and you know sort of verify these magic tiles and what they represent. Um, see what they what they map to on a chessboard. Uh, rook tile dot get piece rook tile dot get coordinate and five and let's do the import there and new coin side castle move this dot board this dot player king <clears throat> two rook um rook tile dot get piece Rook tile dot get coordinate and three. Okay, so let's clean this up real quick to make it the static import. Get rid of that. Oh, whoops, never mind that. Um, right, and just quickly. Clean that up. Bit annoying there. Okay. Ah, finally. Okay. So, it looks a little bit better. So we did that for both of these. Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll stop here. Um, then we, now we've done the castles. <clears throat> In the next video, we'll pick it up. We'll start looking at having a GUI. Um, and, uh, again, please provide feedback. Uh, subscribe, like, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.